Okay, now let's talk about the missing piece of information we need to prove that the triangles are congruent using the given theorem. So I'm looking for side angle side. That is the first thing that I have to look for, side angle side. And let's identify what I have right now. I have a side and I have an angle. I'll do the other one in orange. I've got a side, I've got an angle. So I have a side and an angle, and what's left? Just a side. So I need a side, but where is that going to go? Well, remember, in side angle side, just like the name implies here, the angle should be in between the two sides, or it should be connecting the two sides together. So if I look at my triangle, let me actually copy this one. If I look at that triangle, I'll pull it out of its context. I've got a side and an angle. Well, where's the side that's connecting to that angle, or the one touching that angle? That's well, down here. So that's down here. That's AE. So AE is the missing piece for side angle side in that triangle. Now let's check out the other one. Trace my triangle. Notability gives me a nice pretty triangle. All right, I've got a side, I've got an angle. Now where's the side that would be touching that angle? The other side touching that angle, that would give me side angle side. It's over here, that's up here. That's DB or BD. Because if you notice here, I've got side, angle, side, that angle is in between my two marked sides. So that's how I know I have side, angle, side. Why don't you pause the video, try these next five, and then unpause it and check your work. Okay, I need angle, side, angle. Angle, side, angle. So you should have all these done by now. If not, pause the video, and then unpause it when you're done got angle side angle okay now what am I starting off with angle and a side and over here I have an angle and a side and where should these things be positioned well let's look at the name angle side angle tells me that the side should be in the middle well where would the angle go that would make the side be in the middle of my two angles Let's check, if I put it over here, is that gonna work? Is the side right in the middle of those two angles? Nah, it doesn't work. The only other option is here. So let's check that one. Angle, side, angle. Okay, that works, so that would be angle A. And now let's look over here. Uh, it looks like E would be the one that connects to the side there. So this would be angle, side angle so that's angle e angle a and angle e congruent now over here remember you can always assume reflexive property so i assume reflexive property side 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 then what's left don't put ac and ac because we have that already we don't need that but what's needed what's unmarked now ab and ad those are my unmarked sides. So that's what I need for congruence. Angle, angle, side. Again, we can assume those vertical angles in the middle. Angle, angle, side. Well, this one's kind of interesting. I could either have, let's see, these angles. Sorry, those sides, because I have angle, angle, side. That would work. Angle, angle, side. So angle, angle, side. Angle, angle, side. Or, so I'll go with ST is congruent to QT. Or, there is another option. If I go the other way, angle, angle, side and 
angle angle side. I could say SP is congruent to QR. So that would be another option. There are two options there that would work for angle angle side. All right, again, hypotenuse leg, I can assume reflexive sides. I've got a leg, this is a leg in each triangle. Where's my hypotenuse then? So I have the leg, I don't need the leg anymore. I need the hypotenuse across from the right angles, RP and QP. And last but not least, assume reflexive property in the middle, angle side angle. Let's see, I've got angle side. I've got angle side. So where should the other angle be? Well, it should be here and here. Let me show you why. So angle side angle, that's angle DCA right here an angle, I'll say BAC, or you could say CAB. So you can always assume reflexive property, then I've got angle, side, angle, angle, side oh that's a triangle there we go angle side angle that would work for angle side angle so that's how i would get angle side angle